I'll start over again. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's winter. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. It's your life. I'm just glad you came over to this side of the internet to spend a couple of minutes with me. Thank you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to find your financial balance. Yes. If you aren't aware, we are on a six month, almost at six week. We are on a six month wealth building journey. We are going to be saving together $10,000 over the course of six months. That means it's gonna take us 26 weeks to save $10,000. How are we gonna do it? Well, I will be following this chart and that means every single week I'm going to be saving $385. Okay, if you want to check out any of my other videos in this series, please do. I have mentioned a few times that before we begin this journey with each other on November 13th, 2020, I wanted to take you guys through um, basically my thought process and how I prepare myself to get ready to save very large amounts of money. So this is just the first of many wealth building journeys that we will take together. So I am taking you guys on my wellness, like my mental wellness journey of how I prepare myself to save large amounts of money. And one thing I do is I find my financial balance. Now my financial balance changes with every quarter, basically, because my expenses change every single quarter. And my expenses change because the more money that I earn, the more things that I can do, but also the more money I wanna save. So my expenses and my budget changes. When I'm thinking about how I'm gonna find my financial balance, I focus on things that I want, things that I desire, things that I need, and things that will help me achieve, okay? So if you ever wanted to do an exercise in helping you find your financial balance, you need to sit down and make a list of things you want, things you desire, things you need, and things that will help you achieve. As you all have seen and been paying attention to, I have uploaded on YouTube every single day for the past week. And I have every intention of continuing to upload on YouTube every single day for a year, right? But how feasible and how like realistic is that? Well, it's actually very realistic because I found my financial balance. Finding my financial balance meant more than like literally checking off boxes and seeing how much money I make and like doing any kind of budgeting system. My financial balance has more to do with what are things that I know I'm always gonna splurge on, like no matter what, and what are the things I do after I splurge to put myself back on track or to supplement for that. So um, that's why I go back to that list of things I want, things I desire, things I need, and things that help me achieve. Things that help me achieve are like my tripod stand, my ring lights, um, and my little ambiance, my little ambiance, right? Because over time, you're gonna see this background of mine grow and develop and become more of, I don't know, something different. I love it how it is, but we're human beings. We're allowed to grow and change. So those are examples of things that help me achieve, that help me find a financial balance. If I have to spend, let's say, $150 on equipment, and I know I'm saving $385 this week, what I will tell myself is, okay, in order to balance this out, that means one of the things that I want and desire will not be purchased this week or this month. That's finding a balance. Now, I know to some that might sound like sacrificing things you want. Absolutely not. You're balancing things out. Because now that I've spent the $150 on equipment for this week or for this month, that means next month I'm going to allow myself to maybe get two more items on my want or desire list and um, I will maybe park something on the help me achieve list. It's a balance, okay? A two to one ratio, if you say, if you wanna do it like that, but that's how I do it. I will invest a lot of money into something that helps me achieve, and then I will say, okay, I can't make another large purchase like that 
for another four weeks or for another six weeks because I need to balance my finances. So I'm going to balance my finances and we're going to have to figure out what it is I want, what it is I desire, what it is I need and what it is that will help me achieve. I do this daily almost like it's just how I figure out how I'm going to purchase things. I don't really budget. I don't budget. I don't really budget. I'm not a huge budgeter. I don't really like to limit myself in that way. I don't really budget. I have a, I have balances. That's the best like that's it. I don't really budget. I just find balance. I just say, okay, if I spent $300 on miscellaneous purchases this um month that means that next month i have to spend less than that and it means i can spend more somewhere else but i don't i don't try to budget it out i don't try to tell myself oh, okay you can only spend 500 dollars on equipment this month no not at all if i have a thousand dollars and that's what i have for example when I am balancing my finances, like I said, I'm gonna look for things I want, I'm gonna look for things I need, I'm gonna look for things I desire, I'm gonna look for things I achieve. And I'm just gonna decide what it is I wanna spend money on for that week. If I decide to spend most of my money on something that I want, but not something that I need, that means the following week, I need to spend less money on things I want and more money on things that I need. But one thing that I will always do is I will automatically deduct that $385 to my savings. I don't I don't play around about that. And that's what that goes back to my discipline video. I don't play around, okay? I don't play around. That's why you got to find your discipline because I'll be honest with you, saving money isn't hard. You just need to be disciplined. You really need to be disciplined. You need to find balance. You need to, you need to understand that it's okay to spend money. Please actually spend money. Money is an energy. Money is a currency. Money is an exchange, okay? What else do we call a current? No, no, I said it backwards, but what else do we like say currency is a current, right? There are electrical currents. Money is magnetic. Money is an energy. You are a literal magnetic being. So you can always attract, right? But you need to find balance and you also have to be disciplined. So no matter how much money that I earn for the week or for the month, $385 is automatically like off the table for spending. I can't spend $385 of X amount that I've earned from this week because that always has to go into my savings. That's also how I find a balance. Because sometimes with the word budget, I think budget makes us restrict our way, uh, restrict ourselves in uncomfortable ways. Like when we budget, we put so many limitations on ourselves and then we try to figure out why saving money starts to become difficult. I feel like saving money starts to become difficult the moment you start budgeting. I do. I do. I don't think you need to budget. I think you need to balance. I just think you need to sit down and write out lists of what you want every week, what you desire every week, what you need every week, and then what will help you, what will help you achieve that week. Do that weekly. And you can write it down, you can do it mentally, you can talk to your phone and tell Siri to make you a list. Do it in the way that makes you feel comfortable, but just make sure that you're focusing more on finding a financial balance versus trying to find a budget because a budget is going to make you put yourself in this box and limit yourself in this way that is going to be so uncomfortable. You're going to be really angry at yourself that you did that, so don't do that. You know, don't do that. Don't budget, find balance. Don't budget, find balance. Don't budget, find a financial balance. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Winter. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. It's your life. I'm just glad you came over to this side of the internet to spend a couple minutes with me. Thank you.